Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. So somebody sent me this photograph of a font they're trying to reproduce, and I'm, I didn't search my fonts to find it. They just want to know how to get the two colors. And this would be the easiest way, as long as you're not doing a whole alphabet. You can do this as a font, but I found this is a lot easier. Go up and left-click, right-click. Okay. Go up and go to effects and contour. Contour to the outside, 0 0.01. And what's that going to do? It's going to contour the outside and the inside to give us our two colors. Now, here's pretty the key point. Go to object and break the contour apart. Grab that contour and nudge it over. I've got my nudge factor just set on something a little bit left. We're going to make that contour red. We're going to make a duplicate of it, hitting the plus key on the keyboard and nudge it back. Now you're going to have to manually put these colors in there, but it's going to be a lot better. Let's uh, use the smart fill tool. We use red on the outside. The only bad thing you have to do the inside little boxes, but it's no problem. And then take the smart fill. Now there are several ways to do this the other way, but none to me better and safer and even faster. Now, we've got several outlines. Go up here and click no outline. And if you look, now we have no outlines, but we have colors. If we left click that line, there's nothing there. It's a color, it's just a fill. So that's why it's kind of important because you don't want this to cut. And then you could take this and nudge it back, and there's your cut line, it's a hairline. Now, she's doing this, or they're doing this for a vinyl cutter, and I know nothing about vinyl cutters, but there is your hairline that is gonna cut. Let's make it yellow so you can see it, but the interior parts will not cut because there's nothing there. So it's just gonna print and cut. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.